able to go shopping recently with my mom uh, so for my birthday she asked if I wanted to go get some fall decor and I of course said yes so here are a few items that I picked out and then a few items that we had upstairs waiting and ready for fall time um, I do have some other fall items and they are in storage in our crawl space those are not out yet um, but we've got a lot more coming I will possibly plan and film a video on everything once it's all decorated uh, since we are filming a video for our other channel on our fall decor but I was in the mood today to go ahead and film what we have upstairs for you guys also if you haven't checked it out I do have a new video up on my patreon so go check that out if you are interested so first things first one of the reasons I felt like it was a little more polished today is we are getting ready to paint our bedroom and we're going to paint it this green color here and this is called Retreat by Sherwin Williams and it's a greenish gray but I really think that's going to help us feel very cozy this fall and winter all right so first off let's start with a couple of the new items that we were able to get this year first up we have this led pumpkin candle from Target so it does require batteries let's see here we have three triple A batteries it does not smell I had to double check but no scent but it does light up they had a few on display in Target I thought these were super super cute so these will last you several seasons and I got a short one in an orange color but I also got a tall one in a white not a lot taller than the other one but they have them both in tall and short in both colors and downstairs I'm trying to keep everything more of a neutral natural color we have a split level home so that's downstairs in like our family room area and then upstairs I like to do more of the orange and brown tones uh, just because we have a lot more of that feel in our upstairs uh, living room kitchen area so this will probably go downstairs and the other one will go upstairs but it did have this nice crinkly little casing on it here materials like that but I really liked this carved 
wooden one. This will most likely go downstairs in our living room down there, family room area. Uh, since, like I said, everything's more of a neutral tone, we've got that white fireplace and gray floors, so I try to keep things neutral in that room.
for free and I love it so I do plan on purchasing these um, there is a website called Candle Art and I had recently purchased um, some of their what they call aroma beads and these are basically just little tiny balls of wax and you can put these in a candle warmer um, a wax melter anything like that um, so I've gotten um, and it came for free and this is in the scent pumpkin brulee and it's sweet but spicy as well I don't like overly sweet scents so I do plan on I probably won't use this until it really starts to cool off here but I will most likely use these in our candle wax warmers that we have so I would definitely recommend purchasing these honestly they're very strong in scent so you could probably get away with I think this would last you for at least a week or two weeks just one of these and they're not very expensive so those are always good to have when guests come over just makes your house smell really good. Up next, I have this pumpkin dolce candle, and this was by Capri Blue. This I got last year on sale, and I think this came from the store Altered State. The original price on this was $32 and I went a couple of days after Thanksgiving and got it for $5 so I love a good deal if you guys didn't know that it smells amazing and I really like uh, the container it is very sparkly with gold and kind of white sparkles too so most likely I will save this container and put some other sort of candle in there once it burns out and keep that for this fall time every year I got two more candles last year as well This one also came, I think this was from Altered State, but it could have been on sale at Anthropology. But it is the Patty Wax Leather and Oak Moss. And oh, this smells amazing, amazing. I like the nice wooden container, so I plan on putting this downstairs and just using some of those wood tones to make it feel really cozy this could even go into the winter time this scent so I really do like this and will most likely purchase more if I can find any more on sale this year I got this candle from Bath and Body Works at the end of last year as well and this is in their scent gather and this smells good too sweet but spicy it doesn't it says it is bourbon glazed apples with maple sugar and creamy vanilla but it does have some sort of spice I really liked the matte black container and if you don't like the sticker you can take it off but I thought it was cute um, we plan on putting this on our stove in the kitchen it would be pretty there so another thing 
that I just kind of switched out for the fall time. I have had this picture frame for quite some time and ignore the fingerprints. I was just using it so I need to clean it off. But in the past, I have put in a green fern and I've replaced the fern every so often to keep it looking fresh but now since it is the fall time I found this fern that was dried out from our backyard and put this in here and it looks like this it has those nice warm tones that you see a lot these and these I ended up getting last winter but there are some pillows and pillowcases from Amazon so I just got the cases from Amazon I'd already had the pillows but a nice trick is if you get a pillow insert that is two inches larger than your pillow cover it's gonna make it feel really homey and like it's an oversized pillow so I do plan on switching out the inserts at some point in time but for now here's what we got it's kind of this creamy plaid pattern and we have these sitting on our couch during the fall and winter months, our upstairs couch. It is a faux brown leather couch, and so these look really nice there. I got this blanket on sale last year at Kirkland's towards the end of the season, and it is this really pretty mustard yellow. I am not a huge fan of color. Uh, I do like color, don't get me wrong, but I really like muted tones and everything to flow and match. But I found that this against our gray and navy or in the fall and winter works really well kind of contrasts the cool with the warm here and it's really soft so I like this one but just a cute little blanket we got now this one I did just get from Target on that trip with my mom but I got this throw still wrapped up so you guys can't see it super well but it's got like autumn leaves and little pumpkins on here let me see yeah I think that's it just leaves and pumpkins yeah but it's really soft they were on sale when I got this from Target they did have a lot of other colors. They had an orange and then a mustard yellow as well as a cream. And I do already have an orange throw uh, that we use in the fall time. It's packed away downstairs with our other fall items, but I do have one. So I chose to get this pattern and it was so cheap that if it only lasts a couple of seasons, that is okay, but having a lot of blankets definitely helps your home feel nice and cozy. So downstairs in our living room, family room area, we have a couple of blankets that we set out during the fall months, and it's nice to have when you light a fire. 
so this was cute. My husband loves blankets. I will always get him some. Once every year, we typically get a new blanket. Alright, and then the last item I got was this pillow. And this did come from Kirkland's just recently. And it says, Fall Sweet Fall. Uh, this was, I think, 25% off. They did have sale. I'm not sure how long, like, this font will stay in style, but if it's only a couple more seasons, that is okay. You can turn it around, and it can be just a very plain orange pillow. It did have these cute pom-poms on the end, but yeah, I thought this would be cute upstairs. Kind of like a longer lumbar pillow. So that is all that I got this year. And I guess last year, I really tried to not spend a lot of money on our fall or winter decor. And so my husband and I agree that we just can purchase a little bit at a time. Normally I would not have bought so much this year, but since it was a birthday present, I was fine with that. But I will show you guys if I find anything at the end of the season this year, because that's honestly when the best deals are. So now I'm going to leave you guys and we're going to go paint our bedroom. I will definitely show you how that turns out. I am a little nervous. Uh, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of color besides grays, blues, blacks, whites. Um, so we're going to see how this works. I'm a little afraid, but like my husband said, if we try it and we don't like it, we can always paint it back the same way it was. So I'm gonna run do this. Hopefully the results are good and I can share them with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a relaxing rest of your day or evening.